Police arrested Paul Flores at his San Pedro home today, and his father is also in custody. That's right, Juan Smart was a Cal Poly San Luis Obispo freshman, as you recall, when she was disappeared in, uh, when she disappeared in 1996. CBS 2's Michelle Gili joins us live from San Pedro with the major developments in this case. Michelle. That's right, Pat and Juan. Paul Flores Street here in San Pedro was filled with law enforcement officers earlier this morning. Now, this is something that his neighbors have gotten accustomed to, but for the first time, he was handcuffed here and arrested on suspicion of murder. San Pedro's Paul Flores has been the prime suspect for years in the disappearance of 19 year old Kristen Smart. This morning, nearly 25 years after the Cal Poly San Luis student vanished, after a party off campus, the local sheriff announced that Flores was taken into custody at his home on suspicion of murder. His father, Ruben Flores, was arrested on the Central Coast for accessory to murder. However, numerous searches have not yet led authorities to Smart's remains. Um, that we have not recovered, Kristen. Uh, we will continue to focus on finding her remains regardless of any court action. So we will continue the process of finding out where Kristen is. Over the last decade, the San Luis Obispo County Sheriff has served 41 warrants and done physical searches at more than a dozen locations in an attempt to solve the case. Today, Sheriff Parkinson acknowledged that mistakes have been made. But he also confirmed that the recent investigation uncovered forensic and physical evidence at at least two homes linking Paul Flores to the missing student. The sheriff also credited Chris Lambert's podcast, Your Own Backyard, for helping to find new information. As Denise Smart has said, um, it's a puzzle. And the puzzle is... We're assembling the puzzle. At Paul Flores' house today in San Pedro, his aunt said this about Kristen Smart. He said he liked her, you know, and he doesn't know what happened to her. Neighbors on West Upland Avenue are used to seeing law enforcement at Flores' home. Activity has picked up over the last few days, they say, with undercover officers circling the block. Uh, amazed at it, you know, how long it's been going on, and now this finally, you know, ending up where he's caught. The sheriff told reporters at a briefing at Cal Poly where it all started that he's talked twice today to the Smart family. I think they're feeling um, a bit of relief, uh, but as you can imagine, um, until we return Kristen to them, um, this is not over. Now, Flores was driven from his home behind me here to the San Luis Obispo County Jail where he is being held right now with no bail. That's the latest live in San Pedro. I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Michelle.